welcome to the preview for Series 6 of Christmas with Fabe, which is a series that continues throughout December. This has continued since 2014, making this roughly Series 6. Episode 1 we expect to begin in South Yorkshire, over at Doncaster, which will feature a sort short session at Doncaster Railway Station, alongside a little session from Ings Road Level Crossings, Moton Dock Hills. This episode is expected to be around an hour long, so snacks and light refreshments are recommended. Episode 2 will be assessing any changes at Barnby Road since our previous visits. Now, as you probably well know if you've been a long time viewer of the channel, an issue occur started occurring in January, and it was still occurring on our last visit, which I think might have been July or August. And of course, due to downtime, this video might be around 30 minutes long. Episode 3 will be Collingham Area Level Crossings, which will feature all of the Penguin Barrier Crossings in the Collingham Area, such as South Collingham, Langford and Cross Lane. This episode is expected to be about 15 minutes long, but I'm unsure how the hell I will get it that long because of a sparse timetable. Episode 4 will take us back over to Grantham on the East Coast Main Line. The length of that episode will depend purely on disruption on the day because Grantham is known for a lot of things happening, such as passengers being phoned inside to tunnels, to signalling problems, just to summarise everything. Episode 5 will take us over to Highcombe, as this station has short platforms, passengers arriving in the direction of Swinderby can alight from the front four carriages, whilst passengers travelling in the direction of Lincoln Central have to travel in the front two. Trains in this episode will stop on the level crossing. Depending on disruption on the day, this episode could be a short one, but knowing trains stopping on the level crossing, it'll be fairly long. Episode 6 will show us the Belmont British Pullman from London Victoria in the Lincoln area on day 6. Various empty stock movements will be featured shuttling between the railway station and East Holmes Loop. This video of course will be long because it's in the main city, and we know what that's like such as that 15 minute video quite recently. One closure. Good Christ. Episode 7 will classically take us over to Nottingham, where most of the passenger action will take place, such as a high speed train from Sheffield, goes via Nottingham, and departs Nottingham at about 10.23, with a local service, usually between 5 minutes behind it. And of course, regular local services, e.g. to Mansfield or Worksop, will be short-formed for additional carriages to head to Lincoln Christmas Market. We saw this last year in terms of the Mansfield Woodhouse trains, well, all the Worksop trains being pulled back to Mansfield Woodhouse, all having reduced carriages to what they were originally booked. Note, there was football on at Mansfield at the same time. The services were short formed to football just to be short formed to an event that would probably have slightly less attendees. It's very weird. I don't know how it works. Episode 8 will take us to see Tornado. I think we will literally just stay at the British Rail sidings on Sinsel Bank because the trailer coming from Ealing Broadway terminate in the station and reverse back into the British Rail sidings which is the only remnants left of the Lincoln Central to Boston line. It's the only bit left and it's not very large because these days when there's a tamper in the carriage sidings the turning round LNER train services have to use East Holmes Loop because there's no space in the sidings Figure that one out. One little tamper, one small five carriage train, can't fit, yet somehow you managed to fit two charters in there one time. Who oh, thought of planning? I think I. S yeah, episode 9 will take us to Grove Road, of course. We'll see a standard show of traffic, just to throw a general video out there. 
like with Barnby Road. The length of this episode will entirely depend on how long the barriers are down each time and if there's any disruption. During congestion caused by a signal failure, uh, another incident, or something just totally out of control, the barriers will remain down throughout. I.e., if there's a signal failure, the barriers could remain down for three to four hours until the last train has cleared the area. Episode 10 will in theory take to a gated crossing between Market Drazen and Barnetsby over at Wickenby. This is one we've not yet completed because we've been trying to focus on three other automatic half barriers which we can't fit into this schedule because of timetable constraints. So they would all be done separately, which wouldn't really work for a video. Episode 11 will take us to see the Northern Bell. And this might as well just be Doddington Road because that's not been included in the list so far. Of course we'll also see standard rail traffic. Again, the length of this episode is completely dependent on barrier downtime. The barriers could be down for four minutes for it on its own, or they could be down for two. That's entirely dependent on the signaling center. And episode 12, the last one I've got a sort of plan for, will take us back over to Austin in Nottinghamshire. I think so. I don't know where the border of Leicestershire starts around there. Again, this episode will be entirely dependent on barrier dome time. We will see regular traffic through Austin by East Midlands Railway. And episode 13 onwards, there is no plan, but every is featured in the remaining episodes will likely have been thought up on the day. I can't give any information into what or where at this moment in time. Episodes may be premiered to add an, add an interactive effect to viewing. Episode release times may vary depending on internet connections or being affected by rail disruption. At least 20 episodes are expected to be a part of this series and every day is expected to be different in some way, shape or form. Please subscribe, ensure you have the notification bells on so you're informed of every episode when it, when it is released and whether or not this will be premiered live. Please ensure you subscribe to the channel and have your notification bell on to be informed when every episode is available. Thank you for joining us for this sort of preview. We'll see you in the series.